morning, y'all. As you can tell, our pre-made <laughs> mixes are getting low, so today yes. we're going to be showing you how to make quick and easy mixes. They're just like the store-bought, but they're much healthier, they don't have the preservatives, and you can control the ingredients. Right, so they're going to turn out just as good as uh, the ingredients that you put into them. So if you need to put um, a special flour in, or you want to control the cocoa powder or whatever with your special cocoa powder that you use. We wanted to bring that to you and show you how we do our quick and fast, easy mixes. Now we oftentimes, we will, we will do some recipes um, you've seen on the channel. Some, they take a little longer. We measure out the ingredients, that sort of thing. These are for those nights when you're super duper busy um, and you want to get a good meal on the table, but you needed it fast. Yeah. And so we wanted to bring this to you and share with you because we're going to be doing it for ourselves because we're running low. So let's get going. So we're going to start with four cups of cornmeal. Looks like we got just about enough there. <laughs> and then brought out the big dog. Um, this is where we keep our big thing of flour. Um, and then we just refill our these these jars with our big container of flour. But since we'd be going right through that, we decided we'd bring this up. You need nine cups of flour. Then we're going to do a fourth of a cup of baking powder plus one tablespoon. Do you want to go ahead and put that tablespoon in? Yeah. I'm shooting this stuff everywhere. <laughs> And then we're going to do two teaspoons of salt. Now we just usually mix this up real good in the jar. You could mix this in a big um, bowl and then um, put it in your big gallon uh, jar like we have here. If you're worried about it not getting mixed up enough this is doing just fine okay so that's all there is to that and then when you're ready to make your cornbread you'll just scoop out um, three cups of the mix and then um, you'll add your buttermilk three eggs half a cup of butter melted and um, your your sugar or honey, whatever you're sweetening it with. We like honey, but sometimes we do sugar if we don't have enough honey on hand. Um, but we'll leave that recipe down below for y'all. And you can just print it off and you can put it right on your jar here. And you'll know exactly how much of this to scoop out to make your, your regular batch. And you'll also have the, the big container of mix. So we'll have all that down below for y'all. Yeah. So just look down there. And uh, you're going to leave the... Yeah, well, I'll leave the single batch recipes down there too. 
Yeah, so if you just wanted to make a single batch of this, you have that recipe as well. And uh, we're going to leave that uh, down below. So just scroll down in the description. description. Mm. So we had a big batch of this cornbread we made last night for dinner. It went well with our um, chili because it's been freezing outside yeah. and it's been snowing and the wind's been blowing and here in Ohio, if you don't like the weather, just hang around for a few minutes, it'll change. But well, it's been pretty cold here and so we um, made some chili and uh, I wanted a little cornbread. I was hankering for some cornbread. I think we both were, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> So we whipped it up and nothing flat. It was really easy to do mm -hmm. um, because we already had the mix ready to go. So that's why we were out. And we wanted to make some more so we have it ready for the next time. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do our brownies. So we're going to get our gallon jar. So we're going to make them in this gallon jar, um, a whole bunch of them. Yeah. But... You can make them in the quarts if you want, if you're just a single person or you don't really eat that many brownies or muffins. Yeah. We'll leave it. We'll leave both um, recipes down there if you just wanted to make a quart, a single batch in a, in a jar. Or if you wanted to make the whole big batch and then just dip out of it what you needed. So um, these are great gifts too, yes. if y'all wanted to give these as gifts. So we're going to start with this. We're going to start um two and a third cups of your cocoa powder now we buy our cocoa in bulk they'll turn out as good as the ingredients that you put into them Third. Okay, I think so. You think? Mm -hmm. Okay, you do. <laughs> Make sure it gets full. All right, and then we're going to add to that three and a half cups of your flour. Where's the heck? What else we got? Um, then we're going to add seven cups of sugar. Make sure they're level. And you want to put in one and a half teaspoons of salt. And one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I think he's hiding too. <laughs> Here he is. Oak. And we'll do the same thing. Put the lid on. And you want to shake this one? Sure. <laughs> I'll clean up a bit. And just keep mixing until it's all mixed up and there's no more white. You can't tell the difference between the white and the brown cocoa. Okay. 
Okay, so for this, you're going to want two and a quarter cups of your brownie mix, and then you're going to add to it two eggs, a half a cup of melted butter or, or oil, and then a, a little teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix this all right up, and then you'll put it in your uh, nine by nine pan. And uh, we'll leave all that instructions down below. And you'll, like I said, you'll just uh, want to print this off, and, and you can just tape it right on here. And, or you can use a Sharpie. Sharpies will wipe right off of uh, jars, won't they? Yes, they will. We write on our jars all the time. And then when you wash it, you can just wash it right off. And, and if you want to put something else in there, you can. Uh, it just is easier to read if it's on a paper. And you can just tape it to it. And then you just peel that tape off when you're, if you want to put something else in your jar or whatever. Yeah. This will make nine or seven, about seven, I think is what we get, isn't it? Typically about yeah. seven mm -hmm. uh, batches if you just make a nine by nine pan of this. So there's that one, okay? So we're gonna go on to our muffin mix uh, next, and we're gonna put that in a gallon jar as well. Now these muffins, you can make um, chocolate chip muffins. What else? You can make um, any berry muffins. Right, the blueberry, the blackberry, the raspberry muffins. Mm -hmm. The only difference with your blueberry or your any berries You'll want to toss those with one to two tablespoons of flour before putting them into your mixture, right before you put them into the muffin tin. Um, you'll want to just gently fold one to two tablespoons of flour into just your bowl of berries, okay? Um, and then incorporate them into your batter. The reason for that is it keeps your berries from all sinking yeah. and you have one big bite of berry in the bottom or whatever. Uh, another way to get around that is make sure your berries are frozen. Mm -hmm. So if you're using fresh, definitely, definitely uh, use one to two tablespoons of flour. Mix them in with your berries. It helps not to break your berries up and your batter turning pink or blue or whatever color. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you can also do a cinnamon sugar mm -hmm. um, muffin. Just do the cinnamon sugar on, on the top. Of these muffins that's really good and tasty isn't yeah. it mm -hmm. and what else do we got um, um you can do seasonal ones like pumpkin muffins and you can do your banana muffins if yeah. you want to put banana walnuts in this you can um it's just a basic recipe so you can add to it whatever your family enjoys or loves and around here it just depends on what season it is doesn't it yeah <laughs> i think we just enjoy whatever we just like good food yes we do all right, so we're going to get to putting this in the jar, and we're going to show you how um, much that makes. We're going to start with eight cups of the flour. Yeah, if your things don't fit down in your jar or whatever, just use a big old funnel. This is our canning funnel. Yeah. Oh, I'm making a mess. That's okay. Baking is messy. Right. If I try talking and me and counting at the same time, y'all, it's gonna be a mess. So <laughs> that's why we were a little quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and then um, one cup of the sugar. what else we got and then we're going to do three tablespoons of baking powder and three teaspoons of salt Okay, so I'm mixing. She's going to tell you what you would do with this. Um, and we'll put it down again in the description so y'all have that. Yeah. So you're going to take two and a fourth cups of the muffin mix, mix that with two eggs, four tablespoons of melted butter, and then three fourths cup of milk. Right. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah. We always like that extra little vanilla in there. Mm -hmm. That's it, guys. All right, so you're going to have, when you're all done, 
um, with these three batches, you're going to have uh, four batches of your your muffin mix. Mm -hmm. And how many brownies? Seven batches of brownies. Yep. That's a lot. And then you'll also have um, four skillets of cornbread. Now you yep. can make this in a pan as well. We just, we love to do it in our skillet. So we do it in a cast iron skillet. If you don't use that many brownies or just half the recipe and uh, put it in little jars if you want. Or put it in a half gallon. However it works for you. Right? However it works for the family. Yes. Your family might go through more than we do. You might want to double these. Who knows? These will keep for a good six months to a year um, in your pantry. So uh, you'll have plenty, plenty of things to bake on the on a whim and um, real quick and easy. Hope this cuts down on what you need to buy at the grocery. Yes, that's our, our goal, yes. right? Uh, here we are trying our darndest to get rid of um, prepackaged foods, but we do like the convenience of it. So we wanted to come up with alternatives of prepackaged food, and uh, that's what we're doing here. And we're hoping that you are doing the same and uh, for your family. It just takes one small little change uh, to start the, bowl, the ball rolling. And... Uh, just do what you can do. Whatever you can do with your family, um, you do that small little thing, and that is a step in the right direction. Yeah. So um, we hope this was helpful. And as always, thanks so much for joining us. We really do appreciate y'all. And keep it simple. And fun. <laughs>